We're seeing a lot of new threats uh, in the world, um, particularly the threat of climate change. Uh, cities are especially vulnerable around the world for an accident of history or really very uh, clearly that they've been built up around coastal areas and deltas uh, where the best trade opportunities were. Um, and that means when the sea level rises, when floods happen, uh, which are going to be increasingly the case because of climate change, it's going to really hit cities the hardest. What's interesting right now is that people are generally moving towards climate threats and climate vulnerability because they're moving towards coastal cities where the opportunities are. When we think about building resilience, uh, it's not just about building seawalls and building the right kind of infrastructure, but it's about ensuring that uh, first of all, people are in the places within cities that are not the most vulnerable, that aren't in floodplains, that aren't in fragile areas. Um, it's about ensuring that people have the ability to be mobile ahead of before uh, threats hit. Um, and it's about uh, making sure that there's a social fabric in place so that the population um, can protect itself, not just the buildings the power infrastructure, uh, the transportation networks, et cetera. Well, let's talk about the, the relationship between cities and the environment. Um, there's no doubt that uh, enormous amounts of waste, enormous amounts of emissions are concentrated in cities. But we want to be careful not to confuse uh, wealth and urbanization. There's a lot of uh, rich people concentrated in cities, and they produce an enormous amount of waste disproportionate to, to um, the, their numbers. But cities overall and urbanization provides a more efficient way to live. Concentrating people in space allows us to deliver services uh, at scale with less resources. Uh, there's an opportunity to concentrate recycling efforts, to concentrate reuse. Um, and so there's enormous innovations. Uh, coming from cities. But that's not been the model of urban growth. It's been about consumption increases. It's been about uh, exclusive and gated communities uh, that are really cut off from the social fabric and, and are producing enormous amounts of, of waste. So um, it's not just, it's, it, we have to rethink really how, uh, what the model is of happiness and um, well-being, so it's not just about people in cities sort of uh, at the high end producing a lot of waste, and instead um, use the benefits of urbanization to uh, really use the world's resources in a much more uh, efficient way. Mm -hmm.